They're currently at four dollars and eighty cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to ten dollars and sixty three cents in the next twelve months. If they do, that'll be a one hundred and twenty one point forty six percent increase. Hey guys, this is September of twenty twenty four winning stocks. We're gonna talk about how the stocks did this. Um, month well September of 2024 however it's gonna cover the first week of October as well so before we jump into the stocks on our watch list we want to look at what's happening with the S&P 500 the Dow and the Nasdaq because those three sort of cover the entire market and we see that with the S&P 500, it has been moving positively for the last four weeks. However, two of them, the last two, were very slight moves. The prior two were bigger moves, but the last two were very slight moves. When we go to the Dow, we see four positive weeks as well. Similar action, the first two moves being larger, the last two being smaller. And we see the same thing with the NASDAQ. Two larger moves, two small moves. So now let's take a look at the stocks on our watch list and we start with five below now the stocks that are on our watch list I like to rate in three tiers one star well three stars which is the most fundamentally sound two stars which is a little beneath that and one star which is the least fundamentally sound but still fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list five below is a three star now this stock has an earnings report dropping on November 27th or later that week and an earnings report is can sort of like be like a report card but for businesses instead of for kids tells how the business did in that last quarter and if it comes out being a good earnings report the stock price can really jump if it's a bad earnings report the stock price can really drop in any event five below has an earnings report dropping november 27th or later that week this stock is currently at ninety four dollars and twenty seven cents a share yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to one hundred and six dollars and seventy one cents in the next twelve months if it does that'll be a thirteen point two zero percent increase not enough of an increase for us so this stock will be removed from the watch list after this week you won't see it coming up again however we were tracking five below in the stock sage app and when we caught it in the app it was at 75 dollars and 94 cents And now it's at $94.27. So we caught it in the app on July 18th. And now it is October 7th. So like I said, we caught it in the app on July 18th. That was a 24 point thirteen percent increase in less than two months 
Next, we have D Local Limited. D Local Limited is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 19th or later that week. They're currently at $8.80 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 13.64% increase. Not enough of a gain for us. So that will also be removed from the watch list after this week. However, when we caught D Local Limited in the Stock Sage app, it was at $7.20. That was on August 2nd and now it's at eight dollars and eighty cents that is a twenty two point twenty two percent increase in under two months next we have yum china holdings yum china holdings is the Chinese version of Yum Brands and Yum Brands is KFC, Taco Bell and Pizza Hut Yum China Holdings is KFC, Taco Bell and Pizza Hut and other restaurants in China in any event you can see that this stock moved up nicely here sideways a few weeks and then these last two weeks really nice moves up now Yum China Holdings is currently at fifty dollars and forty one cents a share Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to forty six dollars and seventy four cents in the next twelve months so it is already 7.28% past where Yahoo estimated that it would move up to. They have an earnings report dropping October 29th or later that week. When we caught Yum China Holdings in the Stock Sage app, it was at $30.48 a share. Now it's at $50 and 41 cents so that is a 65.38 percent increase in around three months time we have Greystone housing impact they have an earnings report dropping on November 6th or later that week now this stock is currently at thirteen dollars and seventy five cents notice we caught it at its low in the stock sage app and it really hasn't moved up from the time that we caught it however there is one advantage with this stock they give an eleven point two six percent dividend yield so we caught it at thirteen dollars and ninety five cents in stock sage now it's at thirteen dollars and seventy five cents so it's been a loss of around one point four three percent from the time it was acquired but remember it gives around a 10% dividend yield. We have Helen of Troy. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on October 9th. They're currently at $62.78 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $82 in the next 12 months if they do 
that'll be a 30.61% increase. They were at $56.09 when we caught them in Stock Sage, being at $62.78 now. That is an 11.92% increase in under two months. Next, we have Ulta Beauty. They moved up, dropped a little, moved up more, but dropped just this last week. They have an earned support dropping on November 28th or later that week. This is a three star. And they are currently at $381.80. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $398.71 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 4.43% increase. Not enough of an increase. So we'll be removing them from the watch list after this week. They were at $367.50 when we caught them in Stock Sage being at $381.80 now, that is a 3.89% increase in about two months. Next we have MYR Group. They are a one star and they have an earnings report dropping October 23rd or later that week. This stock is currently at $104.23. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $124.67 in the next 12 months. That will be a 19.61% increase. It's not enough for us. I'm currently looking for at least 25% or more. So this will be removed from the watch list. They were at $96.02 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $104.23. That is an 8.55% increase in about two months. We have Dolby Laboratories. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping November 14th or later that week. This stock is currently at $75.71. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $99 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 30.76% increase. This stock was at $73.50 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $75.71. That's just a 3% increase in around two months. We have Civitas Resources. They are a one star and they have an earnings report dropping November 5th or later that week. They're currently at $54.23 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $81.29 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 49.90% increase. Now, this stock was at $58.31 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now being at $54.23, that is a 6.99% loss 
in around two months time so it's a loss on this one next we have LPL financial holdings they are one star they have an earnings report dropping October 24th or later that week they're currently at $243.02 a share Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $274.36 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 12.90% increase, so they too will be removed from the watch list after this week. And notice they had three straight up weeks, two down and then followed by three more up. They were at $193 a share when we found them in Stock Sage. Now at $243.02, that is a 25.91% increase in two months. Next we have Intest Corporation. They're a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on November 1st or later that week. They're currently at $6.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 43.88% increase. They were at $6.50 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $6.95. That is a 6.92% increase in around two months. We have ATS Corporation. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping November 6th or later that week. Notice they moved up a couple of weeks. They're currently at $30.05 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on PE ratio is that they can move up to $36.08 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 20.07% increase. Not enough, so they'll be removed from the watch list after this week. This stock was $26.65 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $30.05. That is a 12.75% increase in a little under two months. Next we have Dave & Busters. This company is not fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list, thus you don't see any stars. But they have an earnings support dropping on December 3rd or later that week. They're currently at $35.88 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $50.14 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 39.74% increase. And when we found them in Stock Sage, they were at $31.28. Now being at $35.88, that's a 14.70% increase in a little under two months. We have Katerra Energy. They're a three star. And they have an earnings report dropping on October 31st. They were at 
they're currently at $24.87. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $31.21 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 25.49% increase. They were at $22.62 when we found them in Stock Sage. Now being at $24.87, that's a 9.94% increase in around a month's time. We have Double Verify Holdings. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on November 7th or later that week. They're currently at $17.25 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $27.12 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 57.22% increase. They were at $17.36 when we found them in Stock Sage. Currently at $17.25. That is a loss of 0.63% in under a month. Then we have Liberty Broadband. They're not fundamentally sound enough to be on our watch list, thus no stars. They have an earnings support dropping on November 1st or later that week. They're currently at $77.44 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $99.47 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 28.45% increase. We have CSG Systems. They are a two star and they have an earnings report dropping on November 6th. They're currently at $48.26 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $63.78 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 32.16% increase. We have Concentrix Corporation. They are not fundamentally sound enough to be on the watch list. Thus, no stars. But they're currently at $52.58 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $79.50. If they do, that'll be a 51.20% increase. We have Red Robin Gourmet Burgers, also not on the watch list. They have an earnings report dropping October 30th or later that week. They're currently at $4.80 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10.63 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 121.46% increase. We have Dime Brands. They're not on the watch list, but they have an earnings report dropping October 30th or later that week. They're currently at $32.75 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $46.29 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 41.34% increase. We have ODP Corporation. They are a one star they have an earnings report dropping on November 6th. They're currently at $30.47 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $50.23 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 64.85% increase. 
we have WNT offshore. They're not fundamentally sound enough to be on the watch list. But they're currently at $2.68 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 10 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 273.13% increase. Now, WNT Offshore is good old American oil, and they have an earnings report dropping November 5th or later that week. So that's it for the stocks on our watch list for September, guys. Look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great night.